look weather, Jeremy, because um, it was a very noticeable difference out there today versus what it has been for several days. Yeah, you know, when you get the cloud to move up, fog is a cloud, when you get that to move up, it doesn't feel quite as cold. Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite have that same level of the world sitting on top of me gloom. Well, I feel like yesterday at this hour we were looking outside, it felt much darker. Yes, and it was very foggy. <laughs> and this sun we're seeing right now makes a huge difference. Wait, I cut my own hair. How's the back look? Okay, just making sure. Whew. All right, so when the clouds break, we got a little bit of sun. That little bit of sun hit the ground and did a little bit of heating. That little bit is going to make a little bit of a difference. If that didn't happen this afternoon, I would have just confidently gone on here and said tomorrow we are socked in all day, but I don't think that is the case. We've got a little bit of low cloud and fog cover tomorrow, but it eventually gives way to a little bit of sunshine. Hear me out. I think it does. Saturday, we wake up to another round of a little bit of morning fog, but I do think we wind up seeing rain after dark. So I think a good chunk of the day is good. Rain Sunday is kind of pre-dawn or maybe right as the sun comes up and then it works its way out. So I think both Saturday and Sunday are good. It's just kind of overnight where we get that moisture. That storm still sits way out here. We've been talking about this one and how it's slowly creeping toward us. That little bit of energy eventually becomes our big weather maker. And the reason is it pushes a lot of this just unorganized mess ashore as we get closer to the weekend. So putting it in motion, you can see it nearing. But at the same time, we have this ridge over the top of us. A ridge gives you sinking air. That would normally quell cloud formation. But when you have low atmospheric moisture and a low sun angle and very long nights, fog just forms and we can't win that battle. That's the difference between now and when this pattern sets up in the summer and it's all about the sunshine and warmth. Very different just based on sun angle alone, but then you get those shorter days and that makes an even bigger difference. The moisture eventually works its way in and it does hit late in the day on Saturday. So notice most of Saturday is pretty good. It's gonna kind of come in from the Southwest. It hits us and by the time we start the day on Sunday, we're kind of on the backside of this and then heading into another dry stretch. Forecast models are very, very all over the place about an incoming storm that could hit next Wednesday or Thursday. By the way, Thursday's Thanksgiving. That storm, I think if you're going over to the west side, you do have a chance of finding a little bit of rain Wednesday or Thursday. I think over here uh, might be mostly clouds. But good news for all those holiday travelers. It's oh, going to be a busy week. Totally. Thanks, Jeremy. All right.